can't imagine. Students with just computers, just practically. Just, it, 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 well, it's just... I mean, I've got... You know, I'm, how anyone could get to... Flippo. Almost for me. Good morning, Mr. Brody. It is not a good morning at all, Dreyfus. It is a shocking morning. Shocking. Uh, do you know what I, your assistant principal, just did? Yeah. You put five cubes of sugar in your coffee. I never do. <laughs> oh, yes, you did, Mr. Brody. I saw you five cubes. Not one, not two, five. I'm telling you. I saw you five. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> laugh. But I warn you. The world is becoming an evil, evil place. Morning, Mr. Brody. It is not a good morning, Miss Swanson. This very morning, I had to send two female students home to put on some clothing. Whoa. What? I miss all the fun. <laughs> Mr. Brody, you can't really mean the two girls arrived at school in the bus. Oh, very nearly, Swanson. I mean, one of them was wearing something uh, transparent. Ooh. And the other what? had on shorts. Short shorts. Well, exactly how short? I mean, for instance, were they short enough for you to see her ears? Oh, my. I don't care to discuss the obscene details with you, Dreyfus. Obscene? Well, Mr. Brody, it's like the man said. If you think the human body is dirty, then you're saying the fault lies with the manufacturer. But nonetheless, this very morning, I plan to confer with Mr. Cooper. It's time we had a dress code here at Fillmore. And this coffee is too sweet. He is unbelievable. Well, I heard that. No, I'm not so sure he's not right, you know, about the dress code anyway. I've got a student in my third period who wears high heels, a tank top, and skin-tight jeans. And you should see his girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like if Mr. Brody had his way, he wouldn't let a kid on the swim team if his bathing suit had a hole in the knee. Has everybody had a chance to see what's on their slide? Yes. 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 I didn't get to see it, Mr. Dreyfus. Well, there it is, Victoria. Have a look. Tell me what you see. Oh, that's gross. Oh. <laughs> uh, it may be gross, but it also happens to be life at one of its most basic and fascinating levels. This is the single-celled animal known as the amoeba. Now, does anybody here remember how the amoeba reproduces itself? Victoria, can you tell me? I don't know. Well, you know something? If you hadn't cut so many of my classes, maybe you'd be able to answer some of these questions. The amoeba reproduces itself through the... All right, everybody, please remember we have an exam on Friday. Oh, no. 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 I don't get it. You don't have to get it. If you're my friend, you'll just do it. All right, I guess. Okay, here's your watch. Victoria, you're going to be late for your next class. It's just English. I was thinking of cutting anyway. Cutting? Miss Swanson's class? Uh-huh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. She's not as lenient about those things as I am. Well, I don't have my stupid book report. If I go, she'll just hassle me. Victoria, go to class. Mr. Dreyfus, I have two other tests on Friday. Do you think I could take yours another time? Well, let me try and make this clear. You not only... I have to take my test on Friday. You've got to get an A just to pass the course. Oh, come on, Mr. Dreyfus. You're not going to hold me to that, are you? Well, what would you expect me to do? Well, I was thinking maybe you could give me a break. What are you talking about? Every student gets the same deal here. There's no breaks. See, my dad's going to be furious if I don't pass. He said if I don't get passing grades in all my courses this semester, I can kiss off that new car I want for my birthday. Uh-huh. And I really want that car. Well, you should have thought about that before. Hey. Mr. Dreyfus, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Keep your hands off me, Mr. Dreyfus. I'm not that kind of girl, so just go ahead and flunk me. Victoria. Come on, Debbie. Victoria. Debbie? Come on, Debbie. I gotta go, Mr. Dreyfus. Oh, hi, Lois. Diana, come here a minute. Did you hear the latest about Eloise Fenwick? No, what? Eloise Fenwick went to the doctor, and he said it has to come out. No. What? Uh, what had to come out? No, no, nothing, nothing. I hate it when I don't know what's going on. Lois, get me Mr. Dreyfus. Mr. Cooper. Now. I... <laughs> what's going on, Lois? 
Lewis? I, I don't know. I don't know. He has two girl students in his office right now, and I'll tell you, they're both very upset. Well, come on. You better get Michael. I'll oh, wash the yeah. office for you. Here you are. Oh, Miss Swanson. Mm. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to speak to you about a matter of some importance. Yes, Mr. Brody. You're British. Oh, yes. My mum told me that, yes. <laughs> and you're a woman. Oh, yes, she made a point of that as well, yeah. <laughs> it occurs to me that, as such, you might help me to establish certain dress regulations for students, as they have in England. Ah, no, Mr. Brody, you're thinking of a bygone age. No, there are young people in England today who wear rings in their noses, razor blades in their ears, and they dye their hair purple. <laughs> Why on earth would they do that? They say they want to fade into the background of society. Oh. Dreyfus. Yeah, Michael, you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't be better. Just great. Mr. Dreyfus is here. All right, all right. All right, girls, tell me again, in front of Mr. Dreyfus, what you told me before. Vicky said Mr. Dreyfus wanted to talk to her after lab class today. She told me to wait outside because she was scared. Well, that is not exactly... Scared of what, Victoria? You know, I told you before. Tell me again. Because he's been after me. It's been going on all semester. Today he told me I was failing biology and there was only one way that I could pass. What way is that? If I met him after school and we went someplace... What happened after class, Debbie? I waited in the hall for Vicky, like she said. When she didn't come out, I, I went into the room, and I saw... Saw what? Mr. Dreyfus had his arms around Vicky. Dreyfus? Admit it, Mr. Dreyfus. You had your arms around me when Debbie came in the room, didn't you? Yes. You did. Debbie saw him. I saw him. All right, girls, that's all. Thank you very much. You can go. Okay, Dreyfus, you want to tell me what happened? Nothing happened. Nothing? Do you really believe something happened? Girl says you made a pass at her. Now, why won't you tell me whether you did or you didn't? If you think I'm capable of doing something like that, why do you even bother asking me? You know, you have the amazing ability to sound like my wife. <laughs> she answers, answers every question with a question It's very hard to get answers that way, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I, I just don't believe we're having this conversation, it's stupid It's not stupid Stupid is if you would park in my parking space <laughs> This is serious You could get arrested, you could go to jail At the very least, you could be out of teaching Yeah, well, I may be out anyway What do you mean? I mean, I think I'm a dead man, and maybe the best thing I can do is climb into a hole and save everybody a lot of trouble. Why won't you defend yourself? How long have you known me, Mr. Cooper? Almost five years. Well, then I don't think I have to defend myself to you. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I got to do. I got to conduct an investigation. And if I don't get answers, this goes right to the superintendent. He'll have a hearing, and they're going to give you their best shot. In the meantime, I have to suspend you. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand, and I don't care. Well, I care, Dreyfus. I care, and you better start caring, you hear me? Michael, what is it? What's wrong? Ask him. Don't look at me. Ask him. <laughs> I hate it when I don't know what's going on. We were just talking about Michael and his problem. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Poor Michael has been the topic of conversation all morning. Oh, such a bloody unfair shame. It's just so sad that he can't be with us for lunch as usual. Especially on a Tuesday. Why a Tuesday? Because Tuesday's special is pot roast. Michael loved pot roast. I'd like to think that maybe, somewhere, Michael is eating pot roast. <laughs> Well, honey, as long as it's not this pot roast, he's better off. Oh. 
You know, Lois, I really wish you wouldn't talk about Michael as if he was dead. I mean, he's not. We've got to do everything we can to help him. How? Mr. Cooper's already said he refuses to defend himself. Well, I expect Michael has his reasons. You know, I wondered about that. Now, you don't suppose Michael really... Gwen! Well, I sure don't believe it. And any sucker that does better know he's got to answer to me. (laughs) That's more like it. But if he is guilty, I will personally tear his face off. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Pasco, look at you. You're splendiferous. I don't like this any more than you do. This is all Mr. Brody's idea. It's this new thing he's pushing about, a school dress code. He says it should go from top to bottom, and everybody should set an example. Oh, Brody. Yeah, when he first told me about a dress code, I told him I didn't have a dress. (laughs) Uh, One good thing, though, dressed up like this, I might get dirty, so I can't do any work. So what else is new? Oh, lots of things. First, I gotta lock up all Dreyfus's lab equipment. Then, say, he didn't really do what everybody is saying he did, did he? No, Mr. Pathco, he certainly did not. Oh, good. I didn't believe it either. But I'm really glad to hear somebody say so. Dreyfus knows it's one thing to fool around, but you don't fool around with what you're not supposed to fool around with. (laughs) Out of the mouths of babes. You understand what Mr. Pathco's saying? I speak English and French. I don't speak Pafco. Everybody's going to think that Michael is guilty unless we tell him that he's not. Diana, where are you going? I'm going straight to the top. Come right in. Everybody else does. (laughs) Mr. Cooper, Michael Dreyfus is innocent. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Swanson. I feel so much better now that that's settled. Why don't we take the rest of the day off? Well, Well, I hardly expected you to take this as a joke. See me laughing? No, I don't see you doing anything, Mr. Cooper. Oh, no? Where were you all morning when I was on the phone keeping Dreyfus out of jail? Jail? Jail, you know, jail with bars. You've seen it in the movies. No, goodness. I never realized it had gone this far. No? The superintendent of schools has given me 24 hours to prove that Dreyfus is innocent. The girl's father's given me 24 hours to prove that Dreyfus is guilty. The police insist that I call him every 15 minutes. I love this job. Well... What are you going to do then, Mr. Cooper? I'm going to keep up my investigation, that's all. I keep asking the girls if they're telling the truth, and they say yes. I call Dreyfus at home, and he's not there. I get a recording that tells me to wait for the beep. How long do I have to wait for that son of a beep to answer my call? Listen, let me talk to him. What makes you so sure that Dreyfus is innocent? Well, because he's my friend, and because I know him, and because, well, the alternative is unthinkable. In other words, you don't know any more than I do. Well, perhaps not, but I intend to find out. Sure, he's going to tell you and not tell me. And why not? Because I'm a guy. And guys tell other guys stuff like that. (laughs) They don't tell girls. Oh, that is not only sexist and stereotypical, but it presumes that Michael has something to tell. Well, maybe he has. I'll prove that he doesn't. Prove it. Okay. Fine. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Swanson. Yes. Good luck. Thanks. Jack the Ripper here. <laughs> what have you got there? Well, I said I'd bring dinner, didn't I? Yeah. yeah you got your choice. Chocolate sundae or strawberry sundae. Oh. I prefer the chocolate. Oh, fine. <laughs> then I'll have the strawberry. That's a good choice, Diana. There's nuts on the strawberry. Yeah. I'm really glad you can come over. Well, it's not like I've been real busy, is it? Mm. Mm. How is that? It's delicious, but there's thousands of calories. Yes, and I love each and every one of them. Michael, why are you doing this? Why aren't you fighting back, huh? What for? What would that prove? Well, it would prove that you're innocent. And you are, aren't you? Oh, come on, Diana, not you too. Look, I'm just going to go. Oh, Michael Dreyfus, you stop this foolishness and you sit right down and you finish your Sunday. <laughs> sorry, Miss Swanson. Yeah, sure. Sorry for yourself, aren't no, you? No, 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 I am not sorry for myself. I'm angry and I'm mm-hmm. disappointed, but I'm not sorry for myself. Look, we, we want to help you. All your friends do, but we can't help you unless you help yourself. What's the point? Well, what's the point of having a future? I mean, that's what's at stake, All right, it? all right. What do you want me to do? Look, something, anything. Just don't give up without a fight for I am sake. not going to get in the middle of a name-calling contest. I refuse to dignify this whole stupid thing. This whole stupid thing is going to ruin your career. I have no career. I'm retired. It's yeah, over, all I right? I wish you'd stop being such a stubborn mule. I am not a stubborn mule. 
<laughs> I'm a good teacher, Diana. I really am. Do you know that? I know. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy seeing my students' faces light up when they learn something new. I have a good thing going with my classes. They trust me and I trust them. Or I used to. Oh, come on. One bad apple. One bad apple can spoil the teacher, Diana. And no, I did not try anything with that student or any of my students, and I never would. Well, why couldn't you tell that to Mr. Cooper? Well, because at first I was furious. I mean, that, that my students would set me up like that. Yeah. And, and Mr. Cooper having me on the witness stand in front of the two of them. And then I started thinking, why did this happen to me? Me. And I have to say that maybe I'm not totally innocent. Come on, you were victimized. I know that, Victoria. She's in one of my classes. Yeah, well, maybe she saw something in me that maybe I didn't even see myself. I mean, I'll be totally honest with you. Some of the girls in our school are, are dynamite. I mean, how could I not notice that? And, and I might even think once in a while, yeah. but that's all. Just think. I mean, it's hard to keep reminding yourself they're just kids. Yeah, so in the case of that Victoria, a lying, spoiled brat. Yeah. And that other girl, uh, Debbie, is her shadow. Yeah. Well, regardless of what happens, I'm glad we had a chance to yell and scream at each other. <laughs> made me feel better. Good. And uh, when I feel better, I get hungry. <laughs> what do you have to eat around here? Uh, have a look in the refrigerator. You know, there must be some way that we can pry those two girls apart and get to the bottom of this. Oh, no, I doubt it. You know how you women stick together? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Swanson? Hi, Debbie, how nice. Come on in. Yeah, don't be nervous. This isn't detention or lecture on grades or anything like that. I wondered. I mean, I'm not even in any of your classes. No, that's right. Look, I just want to tell you that I am proud of you. Proud of me? Yes, you know, the way you spoke up about what happened between Victoria and Mr. Dreyfus. What happened? Oh, yeah, I just think it's terrible. You know, we women have just got to stick together. You want to sit down? The way that men will take advantage of us. You saw it happen, didn't you? I didn't see everything. I waited in the hall for two minutes before I came into the room. Victoria is your very good friend, isn't she? Yeah, she's my best friend. Oh, no, it's so important to have a good friend. You know, you can do things for each other. <laughs> Vicky does lots more for me. Yeah? She lends me clothes and we go all over together. She's even getting a new car for her birthday and she said I could drive it. Oh, how nice. Why did you wait out in the hall for exactly two minutes? What? Ah, oh, never mind. I bet you're really tired of telling what happened between Victoria and Mr. Drivers. You'd like to put it all behind you. Yes, I would. We're not going to mention it again. You know, Debbie, this, this sort of thing is happening to women all the time. I mean, I, I bet you wouldn't believe it, but it, it even happens to teachers. Does? Oh, yes. In fact, it's even happening to me. Really? Somebody's after you? Mm, someone right here in this school. Who? Debbie. Can I trust you as a friend never to repeat this? Cross my heart. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper? <laughs> Mr. Cooper, the principal? You know, the man will not give up every moment that we're alone. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> you ought to tell somebody. Well, yes, but who would believe it, you know? I mean, there's never a witness. When I need one. <laughs> I could catch him for you. You? How would you do that? Easy. Oh, how wonderful. Tell me, exactly what would you do? Well, first you have to get him alone. Yeah. Oh, Lois, you still here? Yes, yes. Mr. Brody insisted that his dress code rules had to be typed up before I left. His ankle length. One word or two. <laughs> oh, darn it. Diana, I have a date tonight. You've nearly finished? Yeah, almost. I'm just proofreading this thing. I tell you what. 
Listen, you've got a date. Let me stay here and proofread it for you and you get on your way. Are you serious? Yes. <gasps> really? Oh, yes. thank you. Come yes. On. Oh, really? Thank right. you. I'm going out with Arnold Snyder tonight. Yeah. Sure, you remember Arnold. Right. Yeah, he works in that mortgage company. Well, just have a nice time, Lois. Oh, I will. I will. Arnold's going to take me along with him while he repossesses a four-bedroom California ranch-style house out in the valley. Oh, good. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's pull. Here's your puss. Room for a tennis court. Great. Decorator's dream, Diane. <laughs> Bye, Lois. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, do you have a minute? I have just one minute. i got to be downtown. Ah, well, um, actually, more like uh, two minutes. I'll give you 30 seconds. What is this one? Well, I just wanted to tell you that Michael Dreyfus has agreed to testify at his hearing and give his version of what happened. You told me that this morning. Yes, I did, didn't I? Right, yes. <laughs> I gotta go. Well, you know, good news does bear repeating, doesn't it? I just think that Michael's testimony is going to make such a difference to his case. That's true, that's yeah. true. You know, I wish I had some evidence that the girls lied. Yes. I gotta go. Yeah, right, absolutely. I, quite, I couldn't agree with you more. Could you tell me the time, please? It's 14 F. Why? What is the matter with you? Oh, darn it, my watch is fast. Will you let me go? What if somebody should walk in? Yeah, what, what would they indeed, think? What indeed? <laughs> right. Nothing. What nothing, indeed? No, you nothing. see, supposing a person wanted to make it appear that something was happening, then a person would throw herself at you, wouldn't she? And the Confederate who was waiting outside for a predetermined length of time would burst in at the appointed time. Miss Swanson, what are you talking about? This is how you trapped Mr. Dreyfus, huh? <sighs> You lied to me. Yes, well, let's tell the truth from now on. <laughs> well? Vicky never told me what she was doing until after. And then she said if I didn't stick to the story, she'd get me kicked out of school. You won't get kicked out of school. Just listen to what Miss Swanson says and tell the truth. I didn't want to do it. But she's my friend. <sighs> Some friend. Listen, why don't you run off home and we'll talk again tomorrow. Vicky will never speak to me again. Would that be so bad? Maybe not. Really something, you know? You get Dreyfus off the hook and you almost put me in traction. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Cooper, but, you know, desperate times require desperate measures. Yeah, I hope he realizes what a good friend you are. Good job, Swanson. Oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Cooper. Oh! <laughs>